Yo, yo. What's up? How you feeling, bro? You ready to start living that professional life? Hey, you think my mama still bring us dinner every now and then? We're about to start living our dreams, and you still think about the Welcome one and all to G League Basketball presented by 2K Sports. In this Here we game, go. we'll see the Windy City Bulls going up against Team Ignite. Welcome everyone. I'm Blake Suniga. Alongside me today are Brian Benefitemi and Tim Sports. Man, it's good to be with you guys. Always awesome to be here, Blake. Really looking forward to see how this one goes. I'm expecting both teams to really bring it tonight. Yeah, and these guys know how important it is to play their best in these games. Knowing they could be just one game away from making the NBA jump. Pass to Leslie. Launches it. And it's AI with the rebound. Part of what makes the G League so exciting to follow is that it's really an ever-changing league. Yeah, from the teams to the players to the rules, it's always evolving. So each season really is anyone's game. Now here's Palmer. Just five on the clock. Got a hand on it. Here's the break. Here's Martin. And Two parts. With the slam. I'd say uh, that shot was well within his range. I hope so. There's nothing like a one-footer. AI inside. Windy City foul. by Martin. Oh, man. And that's a that's foul his called on Randall. That's his first foul. Outside, Palmer. Out to the right wing. NP. Covered by Burns. Just for a shoot. Stolen by Burns. The pump fake exposed the ball just enough to allow him to get his hand on it and make the steal. Martin. Good work defensively by AI. Bayless left side. Down low. Here's MP. Stolen by Burns. Pass to Randall from deep. Good on the triple. And you look at Team Ignite, it's a great way to get experience and prepare for the NBA draft. You can't overlook how paramount a professional type of environment, professional development is. You know, on this team, the prospects can eat and sleep basketball 24-7. It's the only thing on the menu. You can't get that anywhere else. Burns can't hit it. outside AI back to MP and so he draws the foul on the shot a trip to the line to shoot two second team and MP an immediate starter team ignite felt that his down was good enough to start right off the bat and with a younger team like this talent wins out not a surprise to see MP starting He'll just need to perform so his spot is justified. Uh, first look here at the former college standout MP. Decided to make the move to the G League for this year. And for his development, it makes Two sense. Points. Had a good run in college and the tournament. So I'm interested to see how he fares in the G League. Located just 25 miles outside of Chicago, the Windy City Bulls entered the G League in 2016. What a great investment Windy City has been for the Bulls organization. The close proximity makes it easy for two-way guys to shuttle between the two teams. Now here is Randall. Can't hit the step back, Jay. Now here's Palmer. He's covered by Randall. And that one goes long. A slow start. Five straight misses out of the gate. Inside. Tries again. Defensive and a foul, foul called on the two. shot. Got him That's on the way up that time. So a we'll shoot two here. Foul. And the big names for Team Ignite are part of the one. 
in for your team of night. Substitution for Wendy City. Guys, this is so exciting. The start of the G League season. Always fun to see new faces and talent coming into the G League. And while that's true for all teams in the G League, it's especially true for a group like Team Ignite. We could be seeing the start of not only a future NBA player, but a future franchise cornerstone tonight. Five to shoot. Palmer outside. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two or six start. Nice read from the power forward. AI wants to hit his guys in their spots. That's the pass. Rejected by MP. It's rebounded by Windy City. They've led by as many as 11 points. Leslie with the ball. Bayless picks him up. Burns from deep. Drills in from outside. Well, here in the second, they're showing some signs of life offensively. Yeah, steadying themselves after a really tough first quarter. They're on the right track. AI right side. Goes up on the baseline. And no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Pass to Randall. To the paint. Burns. And he lays it straight in. He was just the first one to react to that miss. A hustle play on the putback. Mercer, he's covered by Randolph. Now MP. And stolen by Randall. And look at this Team Ignite roster. It is special. A ton of talent jumping off the roster sheet. They'll need to fuse it all together over the course of the season, but this is one of the most talented Team Ignite rosters we've seen. A lot can happen over the course of the year. Good luck. He'll make that one most of the time. Now to Randall. From past the arc, and another triple from Windy City. That is some dime dropping, exquisite assist. And the outside. And uh, here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Two minutes remaining. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it to AI. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Right side burns. It's good. The assist that time from Leslie. He's been key for them, the way he's distributed the ball. No doubt, Tim. And when the offense runs through him, it's just a, such a smooth operation. And it's so much fun to watch. Back to AI. Pass to MP. Goes up on the block. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First team that one on Burns. And for many of these players, this is the first time they're getting a taste of professional ball. And when ball is your job, as you said, Brian, if you get good in a hurry, there will be a lot to learn from any first time G Leaguers. It's a, a bit of a, a trial by fire. And you look at how the G League is attracting top high school talent now. What do you think that'll do to the college game? It could be good in that we'll probably see fewer one and duns. Universities can now focus on players who might be there for a while, and that could help continuity, which is a big plus. And the speed of the professional game, something incoming players always talk about. It's not as fast as the NBA, but it's a world apart from college. It'll take some getting used to for many fours here tonight. And here we are kicking off the G League season. A lot of games to be played. Well, the traditional G League schedule, 50 games. Not as many as the NBA, but it's still a grind. For many of these players, it'll be more games than they've ever played before. Yeah, the G League hit hard by the pandemic, along with really every other league in the world, every sport. They had to cancel the end of the 2020 season. They played a shortened season in 2021 in a bubble in Orlando. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. Oh, and a Four slam two. by MP. Once MP gets rolling, the defense looks helpless. So he takes it all the way up and throws it down. And stolen by Collins. 
outside Palmer. Here's MP. Martin. Hey there, basketball fans. We've got another G League clash coming your way. In this game, we'll see the Raptors 905 going up against Team Ignite. Joined by Tim Swartz and Brian Benepitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled for this matchup. Well, with so much roster turnover in the G League, it's always interesting to see how each team adapts throughout the season. Absolutely. I mean, you have call-up, you have two-way players, you have new signings, so the lineup and strategies are constantly changing. It's quite a test for coaches and players. Now here's MP. No good with the layup. No one to blame but himself. He should definitely have finished that one off. To the paint. Nice shot by Two Lewis. Point. And what a trial run for Team Ignite last year. Nabbing Jalen Green, Jonathan Kaminga, and Dacian Nix. Absolutely rocking college scouting. And those guys, they're the crew. Who could be a top pick and take that route? They talked about how much they enjoyed their experience with Team Ignite. And I think we're going to see more of this in the future. Now here's Taylor. Outside. Lewis with the screen. More on the clock. <laughs> Don't try being high. This is his biggest strength, swatting shots, and this skill, it could carry him to get a spot in the NBA. Inside. Back to MP. Lewis with some nice D. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Right side Stockton. Pass to Lewis. Keller. Six on the shot clock. And a foul called on the shot. He got him on the way up that time. So shoot two here. First team foul. That one on Bayless. For the Raptors. And as we go deeper into the year, these players are starting to find their rhythm. And I think the nerves are over, especially for Team Ignite with so many young players. Those early game, early season jitters, a distant memory. One of the best things the NBA has done for the G League, two-way contracts. Oh, two. First seeing them back in 2017. It allows players to freely go between the G League and NBA teams, really helping with their development. And since the first time we saw Team Ignite, there has been some definite improvement. You can see the players becoming more and more comfortable with the speed. The more they play, the more things slow down. Come playoff time, they'll be right at home. Now here's Stockton. Pass to Lewis. Five on the clock. Here's Taylor for three. And they grab their own miss. Nice shot by Two Lewis. Chester Strong Lewis. rebound. And he gets the easy put back as a result. Team McKnight trailing. Side Palmer. Over Stockton. And it's Palmer missing. And here are the 905. Here's Keller. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Bayless. Down low. It's stolen by Lewis. Outside Stockton. Pass to Keller. Lewis with the screen. A shot by Keller, no good. And one advantage that G League has, you learn to play in NBA level offenses. Many teams run the same offense, the same system with their affiliates. You get a chance to see the timing and movement of what NBA teams do, and it helps make that transition if you're lucky enough to get a spot in the NBA a little easier. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's hear it for the squad. One more round of applause for your performers. In for your team ignite, Harry Collins, Manuel Lawson. First quarter of play, and then just over three and a half minutes in. Now it's here, Sheldon. Nice D there from Collins. Right 
outside Palmer. MV, no good. It hasn't been an easy quarter for him, offensively speaking. Justice. Diaz with the block. Authoritative block by Diaz. Totally shutting down the shot. Collins. Three three shots counts. good. Two He's points. one of the best when it comes to making the sweet lead pass. The 905 trail. Miles outside. Pass to Shelton. Justice. Clock is at three. Oh, and the rejection by Palmer. And with MP on the floor here, he's starting to get some chances against guys that either played or will play in the NBA. And those possessions, really, those are the ones that scouts are most interested in. They want to see how a guy like MP stacks up against near NBA talent. It's one of the most valuable things to be learned in these G League games for front offices. Shelton, no good. Diaz with it. Pass to MP. Gets it off. And the release was before the That's buzzer, the but it's off target. And at the end of one, a closely... And a lot happened in that first quarter. Guys, what stood out you most about? He's deciding to change it up. Big a number in the turnover column. On top of that, I mean, he has zero assists. And you can live with the turnovers when a player is creating baskets. If he's not, it makes for a tough night. Now here's Mercer. Shoots over Lewis. And he tries off glass, but it's no good. Now here's Keller. Tight defense on him. Burks. Rejected by AI. And he recovers it. The second chance effort, and he lays it up Two and in. Give an assist there, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. And the outside. Pass to Bayless. Outside Palmer. And the rebound goes to the 905. Now Keller. Back to Stockton. From past the yard. No good. And it's Team Ignite the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Back to AI. Pass to Mercer. MP outside. Six to shoot. Oh, and a slam by MP. And a little background on MP here for Team Ignite. He actually has a steady following from the internet. He ran a channel where he'd upload videos of him playing golf. Now you're stuck. He's got five. Lewis, he's covered by Mercer. Keller for three. A rebound by Mercer. Team Ignite leading. Those videos MP would upload, man, they spread his name like wildfire. Part of that popularity might have helped him make it to Phoenix. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description. So you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.